Good morning, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. I just wanted to go over a few items here that you have in your packet for the next two weeks. And now remember, today's sports day. I have my Chicago Bears shirt on right now. Hopefully you are wearing one too of some of your favorite sports team. Make sure if you do, take a picture of it, send it to the email that Principal Folino will give you so they can post some pictures. Most of these, these things you already are familiar with, but just in case, I wanted to go over them. The activity log, you should have done one for last week, well, the last two weeks. If you'd like to email that to me, you can, or you can just hold on to it to the next drop-off. Make sure mom and dad sign off on it. You can see that it indicates how long and the activity that you did. Now, I am asking you to do this daily healthy breakfast challenge. This takes place over the next four weeks. Some of the examples here of some of the breakfast foods that you may have. You need to run a log. That means, did you indicate like day one for the breakfast? Did you have a carbohydrate? Did you have a protein? Did you have a fruit? You could check it off. You could actually list it there if you'd like, but this should be done daily. Not just on the days that you have physical education class, but every day for the next four weeks. This can be held on to until the end of the month, pretty close to the end of April. Then we have the fitness diary information sheet. This is a little bit different. This is your fitness diary. This is going to be done for four weeks also. We're trying to see what kind of activity you have on a daily basis. On the diary, you will see that it says AC. And if you look at the information sheet, that stands for aerobic capacity. When you have the MS, that's muscular strength. The ME is muscular endurance. Then the F is for flex, the FL is for flexibility. Some of the examples of aerobic would be soccer, playing soccer, basketball, swimming, muscular strength, push-ups, chair dips, remember like the tricep dips, muscular endurance, the sit-ups or curl-ups, crunches, and the flexibility. Um, some of the examples that you can use are some of the stretches that I have here on this sheet. The deltoid stretch, hamstring stretch. All of these items will improve the flexibility. Just like when we do the fitness gram testing, we test for, we test the sit and reach to see how your flexibility is and does it improve. This fitness diary is done for four weeks. So every day, just kind of like the breakfast challenge, it's done for four weeks. Every day, make sure you keep track of that. I will only need you to return the actual diary. Make sure your name is on it. You could put your grade next to it just to make it easier, but that's done for four weeks. The Survivor Challenge is done only for one week. And that's just looking at the list to see how many of these items you can check off each day. Do you go for a walk or a bike ride? Do you jump rope or dance to music? How many of these items do you complete in a daily, on a daily basis? And this is only gonna be done for this week. So hopefully you started it yesterday and you do it for seven days. If you didn't start it yesterday, start today, tomorrow, whatever. But you need to do that for seven days. This will be turned into me at the next drop off point also. Um, a new warm up is the heads or tails. 
I actually posted a video on YouTube, on the St. Ferdinand YouTube channel. Flip a coin, you see which one you do. That's all. You can do probably two or three rounds of this. Go straight down and you can see how each of these exercises, like the cardio, might be uh, so 20 skaters or um, the core might work on butterfly kicks, laying on your back and you flutter kick. So these are different areas of the body that you will work on that will also work when you're doing that fitness diary. Uh, the exercise cards, you need a deck of cards. We've done this several times before. You can do uh, several rounds. Choose a couple of cards depending on the card suit and the number or the letter on the card. You do that specific exercise. The dice fitness grid. I also did a video on this. You will need two dice. Or if you only have one, you can roll it twice. Roll the first dice. See what number comes up. And that's the number that you'll go across with. Roll it again. Then come down. And you're going to find where it intersects. So if I rolled a 4 the first time and a 3 the next time, I'm going to do 5 rocket ships. So you're practicing reading the grid. Then you're going into the cardio activities. Fifth and sixth grade, you will be completing level two. Fifth and sixth grade, level two. Grade seven and eight will be doing level three. So it tells you like level two, you'll do five sets of these. Level three, you will do seven sets. The beginner cardio, six different exercises, and you can read each of the sheets. You can follow the guideline that I gave you here, but you can certainly substitute one for the other. It doesn't matter a whole lot. But make sure you do the number of repetitions and the number of sets. If you don't have a jump rope at the, at the very last one there, do an invisible jump rope. If you can go outside and do it, that's even better so you don't break anything in your house. Now, lastly, the volleyball section. I have included samples of the volleyball study guide. Also, if I did not get your worksheet, if you fail to hand it in when it was due, I have put another one in. Please get that to me via email ASAP so I can put that grade in. Now, you will be doing a volleyball test. Try to do it without your worksheet. See what you know. You can go back after you do it and then you might change things around. But practice the study guide first and then try to do the test. There are two different tests here. Grades five and six, and it says this on the sheet, the cover sheet. Grades five and six, you will do test two. Test two, only test two. You complete that, and you will have mom and dad email it to me. Grade seven, you will do test two one. And again, that's what it says here on the sheet. Eighth grade, you need to create your own volleyball test. Follow the guidelines here. Using the study guide, make up the questions as I instructed you here. So each grade will only do one test item, but please make sure you do the right one so it's not too challenging for you. The written work, the test, the volleyball review, if you haven't completed the work from the last two weeks, please finish that and submit it to me via email. I have many of the students' work already done, but I have to put the grades in, and you don't want to let everything to wait to the very end. 
If you have any questions, email me. Mom and Dad can email me. I will always get back to you pretty quickly. I hope to do a Zoom meeting on Friday. I will give the information to your homeroom teachers tomorrow on the time. It will be live. So if you have questions at that time or you want to chat with your friends and see what's going on with them as far as my class goes, that'll be great. We'll probably only meet for like maybe 15 minutes. Um, if we have to do it again another time, we'll schedule that. But please try to join in Friday. So if you have any questions, take a look at everything and we can go from there. I hope everything is going well at your homes. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I hope to see you really soon. Take care. Bye.